Um, you know, give Wilmington credit. I, I thought that uh, they did a couple things that really bothered us. If I, if I was to, um, you know, we're whatever, 20 games into the season, so this isn't any state secrets that are being handed out. If you were to design a style that is most difficult and bothersome to us, it is full court pressure. It is make us make plays off the dribble. And on the other end, just drive the ball. And we struggled with all of that. Now, uh, Hayes made, uh, you know, five threes. We lost them. Some of that's because our, our lineup, the makeup of our lineup, we're big. We're not super fast. Um, you know, and, and, and he was able to lose us on a couple baseline uh, cuts because we're playing a big lineup because that's what we need to do. So um, give them credit. They deserve to win. Uh, I thought our guys competed hard, uh, but tough game to, to win uh, for us. We're going to have to play excellent to beat a team that's playing that style. Um, and, and obviously we didn't play excellent, and, and that's, you know, you're going to come up short when that's the case. Well, I, you know, I, I thought that, um, I thought the kid was spinning in traffic. I, you know, Ty, Tyler, Tyler knew he had four fouls, so I know that he was trying to avoid him. I, you know, bang, bang, play. Officials have to make quick snap decisions um, from, you know, T tough one for us to overcome. I mean, Tyler's second in the country in minutes played for two reasons. One, he's worked super hard and he's really become an excellent player, and he deserves to be all conference. Um, the second reason he plays all those minutes is because we don't even have another wing on the roster. Okay, they're, they're, none of them play. So in practice, he doesn't get to go against another two, three man because we don't have another two, three man. They're all out for the year. So when that's the case for us, we really can't sub them. That's why with eight minutes to go, we just left him in. Um, and uh, and I don't know. You know, I'm it, look. You're down five when it happened. I don't know that we're gonna gonna win in that uh, scenario, even if it's not called, but clearly it was, you know, the final nail in the coffin. So no, it was, it was a, it was a lot uh, in that, in that moment. I usually, you know, I think the officials do a really good job. It's a hard job, you know, but it's a tough, tough call, but, uh, but, you know, those happen. That's part of the game. I think we, we, we could have, certainly my message to the team afterwards was this, right? We gave up um, for the game nine offensive rebounds, which is not an ungodly high number. But there was a stretch in the last 10 minutes where it felt like they got every offensive rebound. And we've got guys falling down, and they're grabbing the ball and laying it in. And that's, you know, when you've got some young big guys that haven't had enough time to get in the weight room and develop physically, it's going to happen some. Uh, but they happened at key moments. I mean, they just threw the ball up on the best on the backboard. I mean, we we went box and one, which we haven't done. We haven't done it once all year on the Hayes Harden Hayes kid. They missed four shots, but we didn't get rebounds on three of them. And it 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 now three of them were all the same possession, but it finished with a layup. I mean, it should have been a stop. We stopped. They they couldn't even run offense. They had no idea what we were doing. They weren't organized. The first shot they took hit the side of the backboard. Second shot, then the second possession. They, they didn't know. I mean, we caught them off guard because we haven't done it. Like, we should have caught them off guard. We haven't shown it at all. Um, and um, But, you, you know, you got to come up with a rebound, and, and, and we couldn't do it. So uh, no, my message to the guys is this, right? If we come up with two of those rebounds, we're, it's not a five-point game when that foul's called. It's a one-point game. And I'm not asking for all six of them. I'm just talking about two. You know, you get two of them, now it's a one-point game. Eh, tough call, and they make both free throws. It's three. Still very much alive. If you don't get those rebounds, you're down five, foul, two free throws, seven. I mean, you know, I think everybody's watched this enough. Like, we don't we don't score quickly and easily. Offense is, you know, something we we've gotten better at, but we're 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 not uh, we're not a, a, a super explosive offensive team. So getting down seven with a minute and a half, you know, I mean, the game's never over, but but you're in a really bad spot. That was that for longest answer of the year. Okay. All right.
Well, they gave us a lot of problems. I mean, we, we scored in the first media, but we had four turnovers at the first media timeout. We got ripped at half court twice. We couldn't make an entry pass to the wing. Um, now, they're excellent at it. It's a real challenge for that. that that's, one, that's our biggest weakness offensively is being able to get organized, make entry passes, and get offense going. We, we're we better on offense when we can if – you, if you sag in and play man-to-man, we're a much better offensive team than when you really heat us up. And like I said, everybody in the league knows it by now, so it's not I'm not giving out any major secrets. I'm sure the fans know it too. But, um, we, you know, we tried to – it's hard with one day prep, but I'm going to be honest, we could have had five days prep, and we would still struggle with it. It's We're going to struggle with it. So we've, we've got to be better. And we can be better, and we've won in spite of it in some games, like against Drexel, who did the same thing. We handled it better, um, so we've got to do a better job. But we finished the game with 11 turnovers, so to have four in the first four minutes, even though we scored, we were three for four from the field. So, you know, we really weren't that good offensively because of the turnovers, and two of them led to run-out transitions. So, you know, there's no defense. You, you take the ball off me at half court and go lay it in. I mean, what, there's no – defense that can stop that so um so I was not happy honestly early with our offense so even though we scored a little bit and we got to halftime with 20 and then you come out in the second half and you know we just couldn't make threes like we, we, we're not we are a much better shooting team than five for 22 but um this isn't you know I sometimes you answer these questions and you feel like you're excuse making and that's not what I'm trying to do you got to realize like our shooting percentages when we have one day rest are drastically below what they are for the year so we don't we we we, we just you know our rotation a little shorter and guys got to be a little more mentally tough and we got to make them easier uh or make them uh count uh, i thought we took a few quick ones that i didn't like uh but you know we had a lot of standstill threes in that first half much better looks than we got in the second half and we didn't make any of them uh so you know give them credit they stepped up both teams shot it bad in the first half they go four for nine we go two for eight in a game that was really a two-possession game. I mean, there was some fouling late and that stuff. But, I mean, we're talking about a five-point game with a minute to go in the game. So it's it's a two-possession game. And they stick four threes, and, and, and we make two. There you go, ball game. So give them credit. Well, I, I think the top of the league is just so much different. I mean, you know, you're, you're talking about, you, you, you know, we've, we've had Drexel and Wilmington come in here, Towson come in here. Um, we haven't played Charleston yet, who's a top 25 team. Uh, first off, the depth of the league is much better, but the top is so good. It's, 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 it's definitely, um, you know, where I have a lot of respect for Vermont, I think Vermont has really been good, and, and we've been really good. Um, the difference is you had some nights where – you were able to to win regardless of performance, and now you're in a situation where if you don't play well, if it's at home, y- you'll have a chance. If it's on the road, you're going to get embarrassed. And you know there there are some opportunities I think in the other league where if the bus successfully navigates the weather and gets to the arena on time, you're probably going to win. And that's there are just aren't any here, and and then the top is so good. So I think you know that that's been the thing, and I think the physicality. You're seeing bigger, stronger uh, guys on the perimeter than what you see in the American East. Um, and and that's been a tough one for us because, you know, Tyler's the only guy who's been in the program for a while. He's the only older perimeter guy we have. He very much physically fits in and, and stands out as, a, as an excellent player. Um, we have, you know, we have some younger guys who, who, who need time and need to develop because of, you know, the situation with some guys out. So, you know, it's – but it's it's not it's not even close. Yeah, I, I, I think the, the message is this like we had a chance to, to, to win the game with, with two minutes to go. And, and we shot five for 22 from three. And if you're going to be a team that doesn't drive the ball particularly well, which we don't, you have to make threes. And uh, we can score in the post, and we got some of that today. Uh, but when you play someone who switches and then fronts in the post, 
you really watch, and it'll, it, it, you know, the, the, the post feeding is really difficult because they deny the wing, so I catch it higher than I want to. The guy's in my face. They switch, and they flunt on the top side. So now we've got to throw a pass in the post. It's got to get over my guy, over the guy fronting in the post, and land in our guy's hand on the other side which is very doable if the guys on the weak side of the floor are making shots. But when we're five for 22 from three, the guys who are guarding the guy in the weak side corner are standing in the charge circle because they're hoping we'll skip it and shoot another three because we're not making any of those today. So now it's, you're talking about really tight windows. And we, when we got it in there, I thought Frankie was effective at times and I thought Fitz was effective at times. But our best offensive games this year are games where we can count on Fitz in the post, we can count on Frankie in the post, and then we're able to get Tyler the ball. We had, they, they really denied Tyler and made it really hard to get it to Tyler today. Um, you know, he, he got 11 shots, but I think he's, you know, he's a guy that for us to really get, like he needs 15-ish shots in the, the, in the games that we've won. We've been able to get him the ball easier. So, uh, you know, good game plan by them. They got the right personnel to execute it. I, like I said, the opening statement, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a really uh, – not all these games are hard. Towels is really physical. Wilmington's really athletic. And although physicality can be an issue at times, I mean, quickness and speed on the perimeter for us has been uh, uh, something that we've got to continue to get better at. Good deal. All right. Travel safe. Thanks.